Welcome to the CJSUN podcast. I'm Ryohei Yamamoto, a nephrologist at the Health and Counseling Center, Osaka University, Tuneke, Japan. Today, on behalf of my co authors, I'm going to talk about a recent publication in CJSUN entitled Sleep Quality and Sleep Duration with CKD are Associated with Progression to End State Kidney Disease. Previous studies have reported that subjects with low sleep quality and shorter or longer sleep duration are at higher risk of cardiovascular diseases and all cause mortality in the general population. We have previously reported that non CKD subjects with self reported sleep duration of 5 hours or shorter are at higher risk of pernuria. However, information about the clinical relevance of sleep quality and sleep duration on patients with CKD is limited. The aim of our study was to assess whether sleep quality and sleep duration is associated with the incidence of end state kidney disease in patients with CKD not requiring dialysis. We included 1,601 Japanese patients with CKD who were enrolled in CKD Japan Cold Study, a prospective cold study. Information on sleep quality and sleep duration at baseline visit was obtained from the questionnaires for the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index, a common indicator of self-reported sleep quality. During a median observational period of four years, 18% of patients progressed to end-state kidney disease requiring kidney replacement therapy. Patients with poor sleep quality, defined as the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index of 6 or higher, show sleep duration of 5 hours or less, and long sleep duration of more than 8 hours were at higher risk of end-state kidney disease, even after adjustment for clinical relevant factors. Our results suggest that self-reported sleep quality and sleep duration is associated with the risk of endostatic kidney disease. The nephrology community probably should pay more attention to sleep quality in CKD patients. Thank you very much for listening. This podcast is copyrighted by the American Society of Nephrology, all rights reserved. All content in this podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. This podcast should not be used in a medical emergency or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Please consult your doctor or other qualified healthcare provider if you have any questions about any medical condition or before taking any drug, changing your diet, or commencing or discontinuing any course of treatment. Thank you for listening to this podcast of the American Society of Nephrology. Thank you.